Hello on Venturi's video blog channel. This time I will build a full-size shower cabin with a toilet inside and this kind of work is rare to do in self-converted vans because it takes a lot of space and kind of hard to do but I will try it anyway and let's see how I will do it. I want to build my shower cabin in the middle of the van and for doing that I bought this special shower tray that has a cut-off special size for this Thetford C200 model with swivel ball and it's kind of expensive model but it's very good and this shower tray is made specially for this model so I have not many options. This shower tray has size about 1000 mm long and 700 mm on the side but you can cut it off a little for the size you need and this is what I want to do now. My good friend Mike helps me this time and we found out that jigsaw is fine for cutting this plastic and it's a good idea to use masking tape to not scratch the shower tray. After cutting the tray, I sand it with my vibration sanding machine. Shower area is a little higher than shower tray edge and we decide to make under layer from the wood to raise it from the floor. To support my shower tray edge, I decide to make plywood supporters and for that I need to make very precise measurements because my shower cabin must be exactly the size of this shower tray without any gaps around. And after 4 days of building, not so many footage but a lot of work done and let me show you what I have done and tell about all the things. That's how my shower cabin looks today. Let me show you all the things around. Here is a, one of the plywood walls. I need that because I have a windows in a van here. There you can see a wooden frame to build one of the walls of shower cabin screwed together, super strong, not moving at all. At the bottom you can see this piece, it supports actual shower tray area because it's a little higher than the shower tray frame. And these wooden pieces supports shower tray sides and let me show how it looks together. Wow! All the wooden tray of the cabin built around this shower tray so it's exactly size that I need and you can see that shower tray laying on its plywood wooden supports and this area supported by its own piece so it's super strong not wobbling not moving very nice and here you can see the cut out for the toilet, so let's add it to the frame. <laughs> this toilet is really nice, it has a sewer bowl and you could make it comfortable to sit for your toilet business or you can turn it around and have more space to taking a shower. So for now that's all I have, I started to uh, cover 
one of the walls with my wooden laminated panels and I need to build a little more frame at this part and I need to add a wall here and a door here so a lot of work still need to be done and let's talk a little about the toilet and the shower tray I have the toilet made by Thetford company and it's this model is C200 CW uh, it has a manual pump for the water flush and it's a cassette toilet so you get the idea you done all the things they all dumps to the cassette and when it's full you need to empty it in a dump stations in the camping grounds or maybe on some gas stations and you will see this red light lightning when the cassette is almost full I plan not to use this manual pump because I have a water system in my van and I think I will get an electric valve and with solenoid and I will connect it to my power and I will connect this uh, hose to my water system so it will make with the button and will work and uh, this toilet has a turning all around bowl which is really nice in such a small space you can have more space for the shower or more comfortable sitting in the toilet it's one of the reasons I get this model and on the other side it's a simple toilet you open the lid you turn this little handle and it opens access to the cassette and for cassette to work um, they put this starting pack of chemicals blue for the uh, cassette and pink for the flush tank at the top where is the flushing water uh, is and to fill the flush water they provide this cap so you could open it uh, and put the water inside the top part for flushing also um, they provide with this model the door you could install in your van especially when it's sitting outside the van on the outside uh, wall so it even have a key and you saw this many times you open the door and get the cassette and empty, empty it and the dump station also it, they put the big construction and some spare parts and basically all you need to install this toilet and now a little about the shower tray it's made especially for this toilet model but this shower tray not made by third Ford company itself it's made by some side third party company and they don't even have a brand on it so it's just a shower tray for third Ford C200 toilet that's that's the name and I could find it only in Great Britain so I have to buy it there and import it with a company that moves uh, things from the Great Britain to my country the toilet is quite expensive about $700 and the shower tray it's not so expensive about uh, seventy dollars but keep in mind that Thetford is not making these toilets anymore and they change it with uh, some little newer model but it's basically the same but it has different 
curves on the bottom part so I especially need to find exactly this model for my shower tray and it was quite a challenge too but you still can get exactly this model on the market even on Amazon that's all for part one of the shower cabin building video I still have a lot of work to do but it's no way I could put in just in one video because I need to tell you a lot of stuff about the water system covering these panels outside, inside, electrical system and ceiling, installing the door and it's very complex build, I think it's the uh, hardest build I'm doing in my van. So, thanks for watching, subscribe to not miss the next videos of my shower cabin building and bye! So let's add it to the frame. <laughs> wow! It's very nice. shower tray I have the two oops